glowing dewy skin that is really just so desirable um, and looking like you aren't really wearing very much makeup and so that you are looking youthful and um, healthy and luminous. Basically, that's, that's the kind of makeup I love. And um, this is how to achieve it. I basically start off with um, Make Cosmetics Marine Salve. Just prep my lips with that. It's like a really nice um, kind of balm. You can use it, you know, you don't just have to use it on your lips. You can kind of put it anywhere. A multi-purpose topical salve that moisturizes dry, cracked skin and lips while helping to soothe and calm chafing burns and minor abrasions. I just use it on my lips though. Um, then, very important step, SPF. I'm using at the moment the Dr. David Jack all day long little hair on my lip nice so all day long I am pretty sure this is an SPF 50 um, and it's nearly running out which is really helpful Just squirted it all over the table um, so yes SPF very important and um, you know the higher factor the better not something I used to think when I was young and I lay in the Sun with Hawaiian Tropic Factor 2 all over me. But hey, you know, you live and you learn. So there you go, SPF on. I think I might just clip my hair up because it's kind of in the way right now. That doesn't look very nice. I'm going to tie it into a um, ponytail instead. There we go. So, um, Next is the Glossier Future Dew Oil Serum Hybrid. This is a newly launched Glossier product, which I am very much enjoying. Okay, lovely packaging, iridescent bottle, but also the consistency is so nice. I don't know if you can really, wow. It's just, hmm, just lovely. Um, Lovely feeling. So I just, I put that all over pretty much the face. I mean, I think they say t it's recommended two pumps. Yeah, apply two pumps over face as the last step of your skincare routine. Um, I think two pumps is too much because this is one pump and I feel like that is definitely as glowy as I wanna be. You know, some would say too glowy, but I'm an extreme glow kind of girl. So Future Dew, love. Okay, then the foundation that I'm really enjoying right now, whoops, is the Bobbi Brown Intensive Skin Serum Foundation. It has an SPF 40, so I'm like mega protected. Uh, one pump is enough really for my my face um, and just sort of distribute it you know around I actually just use my fingers I have brushes but um, I kind of go through phases with brushes brushes for foundation um, sometimes I like really enjoy using them and then other times I just kind of just want to get really hands-on you know I would usually go quite far down my neck, but because I'm wearing a white jumper, I'm not going to risk it. Not, you know, makeup on clothing is is not really the desired effect, is it? Not what we're going for, guys. Okay, there you go. That's all over. Very nice. Um, and then I actually like to prep my eye area with um, some eye oil by Cora Organics. And the reason is because I personally find that through the day, my, this, my eye area gets 
quite kind of dry and that's when like the makeup kind of sits in the line. So I just try and give it as much hydration as I can. Um, I probably should have done that before the foundation, just saying, but I'm sure it will be fine. So kind of just dab it in and then apply um, some corrector under my eyes. I'm using the Bobbi Brown in light bisque. So it's like quite a pinky tone. Um, and that just uh, just goes under under the eye there to kind of just cancel out the, the dark circles. And I personally quite like um, a nice light un under eye. So I then put concealer on the top and I'm using the NARS there is a name for this concealer and I'm going to find it. Maybe I'm not going to find it. It's not there. Oh yes, Radiant Creamy Concealer. This is in shade Light 2 Vanilla. I think this concealer is great. Um, I... Sorry, I, I have a fuller one that I'm using. I don't know why I've got an empty one in my makeup bag, but anyway. So yeah, just... Um, a few dots under the eye and then kind of, I, I go a little bit further down because um, I wanna do the triangle of light, which is a thing that helps you look um, awake and illuminated and healthy, in my opinion. So yeah, just pulling it down into, so see that triangle there? Just blending it in with brush. It's a real techniques brush. Oh, Real Techniques 300. I love this brush. It's really nice. And I'm just pulling it up over on top of the eyelids um, because I'm going through a phase at the moment of not wearing eyeshadow. So instead I kind of like just prepping the, the eyelid with a bit of concealer just to kind of even things out. So Okay, so there's my under eyes done. Um, just kind of pat around this side because I don't want it to be like a a big straight line of um, light there. So that's that done. And oh, and then I add um, a bit of concealer just under um, under the nose here because I do get a bit of red there. And then my chin gets quite red too. So I just and to the sides there. So just kind of add a little bit of concealer just there where I struggle with a bit of redness. So you just kind of go around the nose a little bit. I mean, I could just use a bigger brush actually for the chin because I'm being lazy. Real Techniques 200, just to kind of blend that in. This is a nice brush, I like this one. This is this has, you know, multi-purpose brush. Good for cream blushes as well. Okay, so concealer done, then I, ah yeah. Then a bit of bronzer. Now I'm using this, the Trish McAvoy Correct and Even in shade number three, which is, um, I think maybe the darkest shade. I think, oh, maybe there's one a bit darker than that. And I was using this to contour. You just turn and click it. Um, sorry, this is actually a bit bashed up in my makeup bag, so it doesn't look so great. But um, where I was using it to kind of contour, I'm now using it a bit like a kind of cream bronzer. So um, just in those kind of areas where I would naturally catch the sun, maybe a tiny bit on the, on the nose there. And I'm using the Hourglass, I don't know what brush this is. It's like an angled, dense brush and it's really good for blending in um, kind of cream-based products, especially this one um, for kind of uh, contouring and, and bronzing. So I just blend that in up to the hairline, around the temples and along the cheekbone and down the nose a bit. Okay, and like I just really like cream-based products to, um, because I think they're really good for keeping the skin looking 
glowing and dewy. The minute you start using like powder products, I feel like you just lose that. And then you kind of feel like you need to add it in with more like highlighting products and stuff like that, which is, I don't, yeah, it's not my preference. So um, what I also do is just kind of take a little bit off the little spongy end and put some on my eyelid as well. Um, just as you would if you had like a, a powder based um, bronzer and kind of sweep it across the eyelid. So I just do that just to kind of add a little bit of color to the lids. Um, yeah. And then what is next? Ah, yes. Okay. Then um, I will just add a tiny bit of highlight. Not that <laughs> really really need it but if you were interested in adding more highlight make cosmetics do a really nice one called moonstick um and it's like i've used mine loads it was like a little dome shape but now it's flat so i'll just add some to the um, top of the cheekbones um onto the brow brow bone and um, my favorite place to put highlighter is on the Cupid's bow. So just highlight there. Um, and also on the inside of the eye. Okay. Blusher. No, not blusher. I do like to do a slight bit of kind of definition here and the Trini, uh, Trini Widdle's um, brand Trini, is it just called Trini? Trini London, um, in shade Kate, and it's for the cheekbones, and it's like this kind of strange grey, browny grey colour, and I just take a bit on the, on this ring finger and just underneath the, the cheekbone and just pull it, which looks really scary and really dark, but you will see that it brings a really nice definition. I feel like I'm in the army. <laughs> right, again with this hourglass angled brush, just blend it in. So the, the, that dark kind of gray brownie color is really great because it just looks like a shadow and makes me look more defined. <laughs> so that is, um, hmm, can you see? I hope you can. Okay, then blusher. Okay, so at the moment I'm, I am using the um, Trish McAvoy lip and cheek color. This is really nice for both lip and cheek, but also I add it on my eyelid as well. Um, so just, Put that on the apples of my cheeks. Um, but on the eyelid. I kind of love um, products that I can use kind of all over my face. I just feel like it's kind of nice and versatile. Especially when you're traveling, you know, you can take less products away and get away with it. Um, so yeah, with cre with cream based products, it's much easier to kind of like make them work harder for you, I think. Okay, and then kind of maybe a tiny bit on the nose, you know, just look like you've just been on a nice country walk, flushed, healthy. Okay, that's that bit done. And then um, uh, eyebrows, eyebrows is next. What am I doing? Yes. Uh, Blink Brow Bar Clear Brow Gloss. This is very well loved. I need to get a new one, but, and so there's literally no branding left on it, but it's really good uh, brow gel. It keeps them um, very much in place. My eyebrows are very disobedient and I will brush them up, but they do not want to be up. So I kind of, I, I'm kind of on this like little, training program with them where I'm like brushing them up every day, even though they don't want to go up and feel like eventually they will start to behave. 
I'll keep you posted on that. But here we go. Trying my hardest. Yeah, so yeah, that's, this is, they just keep flicking down. I just want those kind of like healthy, big, bushy eyebrows, but no, it's not a lot there. Anyway, I let that dry, push them up, let that dry. And then I um, add in some eyebrow pencil. In the meantime, I will curl my lashes with the um, Tweezerman eyelash curlers. Sorry, I, they're a bit dirty. Um, there. And by the way, my nails are not dirty. This is actually a, pedic a, a pedicure, a manicure. I thought it'd be a good idea to get this done. Um, and I still do really love it, but I also keep looking down and thinking, oh my gosh, my nails are so dirty. And someone actually said to me the other day, are your nails really dirty? It's like, oh no, no, they're not. I just got them painted so that they would look dirty. <laughs> Why can I not get one? Okay, there we go, yeah, there we are. Um, yes, okay. So the mascara I'm using at the moment is the Glossier Lash Slick. Um, oh my gosh, that's I made my eye really water. Ow. <laughs> Paints for Beauty. Right, Lash Slick. Love Lash Slick because I really like brushes like these that are not, they don't get cloggy with mascara. Um, yeah, just makes me happy. Yeah, I've got it in black. I suspect you can already tell that. Who actually wears brown mascara? It must be some people. I've always been quite fascinated with that. Why would you choose brown mascara when you can have black? Each to their own, I suppose. Okay. I can't really see what I'm doing. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, guys. So professional. Okay, that is gonna do for now. Uh, oh yeah, eyebrows. Okay, so love this product. This is the MAC, um, what is it called? Shape and Shade Brow Tint. It's got um, one end is this, which I never use. I think that's for like shading the whole eyebrow, but this is the end that I, that I like. Very fine. Um, tipped brush which I really can't see what I'm doing now I'm gonna have to go in quite close so I can see in my mirror over here but it basically mimics the hairs so I can make my eyebrow look a lot thicker than it really is Hoping you can see that. I think I went a little bit far down there. I oh, know that's fine. Okay, and then I also add in a few at the top there, just where it's they're a bit sparse. Just beef up these brows. Okay. I've got this in shade fling. I actually, when I first bought this product, I bought it in the lighter shade because I was quite scared about, you know, overdoing it. But actually, um, I, actually my brows are quite um, dark. Someone's at the door. Excuse me, in a sec. Okay, I'm back. Um, so yes, anyway, so I bought it in the lighter shade, but actually my, my eyebrows are quite, are quite dark. You know, I basically bought the one for blonde hair because I, I have highlights and that was a mistake. Anyway, so that is the brow product that I love. Um, Shape and Shade Brow Tint, lovely. Um, gonna just do an extra um, layer of mascara because I feel like I really scrimped there. 
Plus, I always do two layers. I just feel like it's nice to build it up because my eyelashes are so sh short. They need, they need um, a couple of layers. Okay, there we go. And then finally, uh, lips. Currently using a beauty pie shade. Not my usual favorite. In the, usually I use the um, semi-sweet, which is like a matte nude. But I recently got sent this one called Nude Blush. Um, so I'm just gonna dab off the lip balm. Um, this one is not matte, uh, but it's a lovely shade. Yeah, nude blush. It's kind of quite nudey and creamy. I really like it. Nice day shade. And that is my um, dewy, glowy makeup. I mean, some might say that's a bit too dewy and glowy. I mean, I am quite shiny, but I just think it looks so healthy and nice. So I don't really have a problem with it. Um, but if you did feel that, that, that this level of glow is too much, you can just like add a little bit of um, just translucent powder, but I would only put it kind of on the chin and round, round here and on the, on the um, forehead, but leave, leave these kind of areas where you, where you want the light to hit. Um, okay, so that is my, um, that's basically the kind of makeup I'm doing um, every day at the moment and the products that I'm really enjoying. So I'll, um, as always, link below and let me know if you have any questions and um, I hope that was helpful. Thanks for watching, guys. Oh, let's take my hair down so you can see. This is what, you know, everyone else does. Take the hair down and be like, oh, hi. Mm, products. Bye.